एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट इंफ्रेड आई आर सेंसर दिस सेंसर आर मोस्टली यूज टू डिटेक्ट द ऑब्स्टिकल्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट दिस सेंसर इट्स पिन आउट इट्स इंटरफेरेंस विद द आर्डिनो एंड इट्स टेस्टिंग एन इंफ्रेड आई आर सेंसर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस दैट मेजर्स एंड डिटेक्ट्स द इंफ्रेड रेडिएशन इन इट्स सराउंडिंग एनवायरमेंट देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ इंफ्रेड सेंसर वन इज one is active and the other one is passive in this video lecture we will learn about only active infrared sensors active infrared sensor both emit and detect infrared radiation active ir sensors have two parts a light emitting diode led and a receiver the white led emits the infrared light and it has been reflected and detected by a photodiode when an object comes close to the sensor the infrared light from the led reflects of the object and is detected by the receiver active ir sensors act as proximity sensors and they are commonly used in obstacle detection system such as in robots the light only reflected from the white surface or the surface which is not dark because the dark surface consumes or do not emit the light infrared radiation as you have, as you can see the ir transmitter emits the infrared light and it has been reflected from the object and received by the ir sensor now we will look at the pinouts mostly there are three pins one is vcc ground and the output pin but now they are also coming in four pins one is for digital output and the other one is analog output we will look at the technical specification the thing which has to be focused is its range its range is not very much its range is limited to 20 cm put and output pins are working worked at 5 volt and 3.3 volt compliant it's adjustive it has adjustable sensing range now we will see the interference with arduino you can take both analog and digital outputs the vcc of the sensor would be connected to 5 volt and the ground of the sensor would be connected to the ground the output pin led would be connected to digital pin as you can see in its digital interference if we take it as analog interference the output of analog would be given to a0 now we will look at the code and its testing we have set the proc sensor pin as the second number and the input value as zero number as i have told you earlier pin mode decides the mode of the pins of the arduino like if we have setting the 13 pin as output then we can only take the output from the arduino in this particular code we have set the 13 pin output and the proc sensor that is the second pin as input and then we have begin the r serial monitor in the loop we have said if the sensor pin is high then we will make the 13 pin high digital read reads the value at this pin digital read pins read the value at the pins if the proximity sensor gives the high value then it makes the 13 pin also high and the led is on else the led remains closed this is how the code works and with this we will end this lecture Thank you.